executive director of the NGO, NGO We Are Here Venice. Okay, so this decision, clearly it's a positive for those who want to protect the city, but is it too little too late? Well, let's not worry about um, anything being too late because we need to talk about now. And it is something, it's a step in the right direction, but there's a lot more that needs to be done. Uh, describe the situation with how these large ships affect the city. Is it, clearly, is it clear that they are contributing to damage and erosion? Yes, it is. And so while the large ships used to pass through the center of the city, there was the risk that they could crash into the city and the air pollution was coming very close to people's homes and to the monuments. Now that the, the, the plan is to bring the ships still into the lagoon, further from the historic monuments of Venice, but it's still within the lagoon system, on which the existence of Venice is very, very dependent. And if the, sh the ships cause further erosion in the lagoon, Venice will be in an even more fragile state because the lagoon protects Venice from the strong tidal currents that come in and out from the Adriatic Sea. And it'll um, make Venice much more vulnerable to flooding. Some analysts say that with fewer ships now and, and these big ones not being allowed, um, about half of the number of tourists now will be able to visit Venice. So depending on how you view the situation, that's either a great thing for the city or a terrible thing for the city. What is your view? That's, that's actually um, incorrect analysis. The total number of cruise passengers that come to Venice is a small fraction of the total number of Venetian tourism. So from a tourism point of view, um, it, banning the cruise ships from coming through the center doesn't change much from the point of view of the strictly tourist-related business of Venice. It does change a lot for the jobs associated specifically with the cruise sector, that are between one, two, or 4,000, depending on how you measure it. And those jobs need to be replaced with some other form of income for the Venetian workers. Got it. Okay, good information. Jane, thank you for that.